Hey, good evening to you. Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com here. Going to do a quick update on what is now Tropical Storm Fay, mainly just to give you an idea of what to expect if you're in the area where this is going to be impacting. Kind of rare to have tropical storms where this is heading. It's not a typical event, and it's an unusual track The where, where this came from, originating actually in the Gulf of Mexico from an area of elongated vorticity, an old frontal boundary, focusing point for energy, and it finally bundled up, made landfall kind of near Mexico Beach the other day, then moved inland across Georgia. You remember all that? Now moved off the coast, and now it's a tropical storm officially. So let's take a look at what's happening with it and kind of explain, uh, again, what to expect. This is one of those low ACE producers, accumulated cyclone energy. I get it. This is not your typical big-time hurricane season type uh, storm, but it matters. It's, you know, 40 knots, 45 mile per hour wind, coastal interest. You know, this is a, it's enough of a big deal that we, of course we talk about it, but it's not one of these large hurricane type events that comes off Africa and makes it way, its way all the way over. You know, maybe one of these it turns out to see, you know what I'm talking about. You understand this. I'm just making sure that, especially for folks that have not been paying attention uh, that they know what's coming. So here it is. Here's Faye. The recon went out. It verified that it had a well-defined low-pressure center, low-level circulation wind and some of the convection uh, about 45 miles per hour. It's moving north at 7 miles per hour. Um, and, you know, other than that, really not a big problem in terms of storm surge or anything like that. Uh, that being said, uh, you know, you, like I said earlier today, you got to take it seriously. Um, I'm trying to see if they've got their, their little key points on it. Usually, yeah, there it is, key messages. Okay, um, three to five inches of rain with about eight inches. Okay, that if it was snow, three to five inches of snow, yeah, not, not too big a deal, especially for New England. Um, but rainfall is different, and that can cause flooding and you know people driving around and some people are at work some people aren't it's a weird situation with what's going on with the whole pandemic thing and so every one of these is going to be different now and maybe people haven't been driving for a while and they're like oh i forgot how to drive in rain well this is a lot of rain coming um and but here's a good point here's a positive everything's not negative widespread river flooding not expected at this time. Okay, so let's highlight some of the things that are good. That's a good thing. Um, and then tropical storm conditions, you know, 35, 40 miles per hour expected along portions of the mid-Atlantic and northeast coast Friday and Friday night. A tropical storm warning has been issued accordingly. So not a real big problem, but be aware of it. It's out there. Okay, looking at the satellite imagery, it's uh, curling up. It's trying to do its best. Uh, off the coast of the Outer Banks here, the low-level circulation right in here. The old low-level circulation uh, that originated again in the Gulf and then came up and moved across like that, that's still there right off my area. It gave me some heavy rainfall. I'm going to show you what that looked like in just a moment. Um, but the main piece of energy kind of jumped over to the Gulf Stream, got its act together, recon flew out. Really appreciate the men and women that support the 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Group, whether they are flying, whether they are working back in Keesler, folks at the Hurricane Center, the different weather forecast offices, we're all working together. And I mean, look, like I say often, this is bigger than you and me. That's for darn sure. And so anything bigger than me, I'm going to pay attention to it. You know, when it comes to the weather or any other natural phenomenon, a shark in the water, an alligator in the swamp, a snake in the road, whatever, in the backyard, I'm going to respect it. And so I'm just asking you to do the same. Not hyping this up. It's not a big problem, but it's there. It's going to be a nuisance. Uh, and for some people, it could be really interesting. You know, this might be one of the most interesting things since there's no movies to come your way in several months with all the other stuff going on. So you know, if you get some breezy conditions or some unusual clouds or whatever, and you can safely film it, photograph it, you name it. And remember, please, 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 for the love of all things wonderful in the world of cinema, hold your phone horizontal when you film stuff, please, unless it's going on something specific, like TikTok or something, you know. But if you're wanting to put it on Twitter or YouTube, please film it horizontal. It just looks better. 
Um, and, you know, tag me on Twitter if you want to. I'd love to see it. I'm not setting up equipment. I'm not going out into the field for this system. I need to conserve resources for the heart of the season, which we've talked about a lot. You know what's coming. Um, and there's really not much that I can do that you all can't do because you're going to be there already. If you're in Jersey, the Maryland coast, Delaware, Long Island, you know, I got friends that I know for real, as I say, IRL in real life and friends that are only on social media. Um, you guys can cover it. Send me what you got. I'll retweet it and uh, just be careful doing so. Don't, don't do anything dumb. Don't be riding around at 70 miles an hour in a heavy rain squall. That's not good either. So just use common sense. Uh, the radar, not much in the radar range right now uh, as we look at the national uh, scope here. Uh, the main circulation center, again, is off the coast here. The old low-level center is dying away down here. And there have been a few showers and heavier rain bands with that that popped up. So I decided to try something different. I took one of our new GoPro 360 cameras that we have. It's called a Max, GoPro Max. And I put it on top of a truck that I've been renting. Look at that. Really cool. Isn't that neat? This is Wilmington. You can pan over. Oh, yeah. Imagine doing this. It's like, look out, look at that car. But look, he goes by. No problem. That's really neat. Kind of some heavy rain earlier today. Uh, and I thought, well, heck, I'll just put the camera up on top and see what's up. Literally. Look at that. It's a Ford F-150 that I'm renting for the year. Got a good deal with Thrifty. And this is my vehicle for the year ahead. Yep. Technology is amazing. Imagine what we're going to be able to do with this in a tried and true bona fide big time hurricane. We got plans. Oh, yeah. And by the way, I want to make mention that that 360 camera, the GoPro Max camera, is fully funded by our patrons on Patreon literally so it's thanks to them that we're able to do this the crowdfunding is making a difference we're putting it into use that was just a little tease a little test today you know what if you've got one of those oculus um quest or whatever some of the vr headsets the really good ones uh, i'm going to make that video public on youtube look at it in one of those it's absolutely amazing and if you already know it you know gaming you know what i'm talking about um, this could be a real big thing for gamers you guys live in a fantasy world as it is it's extraordinary you don't live in it but you you spend a lot of time there and sometimes that world seems to be better than ours doesn't it and uh this might be right up your alley you know the world of hurricanes can seem surreal and different and amazing and otherworldly and we're going to be getting into that realm definitely and that's all thanks to our patrons all right so there you go that's a look just my thoughts on what's happening uh fay sixth earliest name storm ever it, it just shows you that the Atlantic wants to produce. It's in the subtropics right now. When that energy focuses down into the deep tropics, yes, I believe it is going to matter big time, and we're going to have some intense hurricanes to deal with, but that's later. For now, we'll deal with Faye, and as you deal with it, common sense, let it prevail, and uh, again, seriously, hit me up on social media, tag me. I would love to see what you get. Just be careful doing so, please. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I'm Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com. I'll be back with more for you on the Hurricane Outlook and discussion tomorrow.